Hello and welcome. I am James Green of Uber Solar, and this is a short video regarding doing a solar retrofit for a 300 or 350 or even 400 litre solar system. And the idea is at the end of it that you have a, a good idea of how the whole thing works. So why are you getting a big system? And the answer is, is that if you are between five and eight people, a solar system of 150 or 200 litres just will not be big enough to provide you with enough hot water. But we don't put in an enormous, very, very heavy 300 litre tank. What we do do is we use your existing tank of 150 or 200 litres and we add an extra Class B new tank of 150 or 200 litres plumbed in series with the existing uh, tank making 300 or 350 or even 400 litres. And then what we do is we install the solar collector on the roof, preferably facing north, and we pump the water from both geysers through a reticulation ring in and out of the solar collector using a solar electric panel as the power source and a solar pump. And over a period of six to eight hours, the geyser will get hot or the water in both geysers will get hot. Now, two electric geysers of 150 litres plumbed in series will provide enough hot water at 40 Celsius being washing temperature for four to seven people to shower each day, or alternatively for three to four large baths. But every time the water is used, the temperature will drop with the new cold water coming in. And when it drops by five degrees Celsius, the electric element turns on. But basically to heat 300 liters using uh, elements in both geysers will take around three hours. Now, when you go solar, what we do is we recommend that you put in a solar collector that is designed to replace 100% of the electricity normally used. And that will be with 48 tubes with 300 liters. 54 with 350 and around four, 60 tubes with 400. Here's a, 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 an example of a couple of 48 tube systems on roofs, but there are always problems. Every home is different. Every solar installation is bespoke. And if needed, we can increase the number of tubes to compensate for bad orientation, uh, bad inclination or shade, or indeed even to try and push the temperature up a little bit higher. Now, the weather and the seasons are, of course, um, what solar relies on, and existing electrical backup will continue to be used for bad weather days to compensate for shorter days and lower solar irradiation and colder water in winter. And we also strong, strongly recommend that an UberTrack controller to control the electric element backup times is used as well as to provide full solar analysis and functionality. Now, we also advise you of the financial performance, very important. That includes the projected payback on the investment when you expect to recover the cost of your investment through electrical savings. And of course, your anticipated financial returns from saving electricity over say five or 10 years. And with that, I'd like to say thank you very much for listening. Uh, you may have more questions and please look at some of the other educational videos or otherwise call us at any time and we'd be happy to answer them. Thank you so much. Goodbye.